Hey guys, and welcome to Pokemon Leaf Green version. First let's play of this channel. Now that's pretty momentous, I think. Uh, considering the only videos I've done before have been uh, short little videos based on Warcraft custom maps or uh, short funny videos. But now, now we're getting serious. This is a proper let's play. So, uh, let's get into it. So you might be wondering, why am I playing Pokemon Leaf Green version? This is actually because everybody plays Pokemon Fire Red, but I wanted to do a Pokemon Let's Play, and uh, Leaf Green seemed pretty unusual. So maybe be fun to do. So let's get into it. Hi there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. I assume if you're watching this, you'll know all of this already, so I don't need to explain too much. It's pretty standard for Pokemon. If you don't know what Pokemon is, have you been living under a rock? Where, where have you been for the past 20 years? I'm going to choose boy, because, you know, I'm a guy. I'm going to name it after myself, the name of the channel, Awak. Okay. Your name is Alec. Yes, it is. This is my grandson. He's been your rival. What was his name? What are we going to name our rival? I think I'm going to call him... Mofo. And the reason why I'm calling him this is... Uh, Gary Mofo Oak. You know the reference. I was tempted to call Gary Oak PewDie, because, you know, PewDiePie, biggest gaming YouTuber of all time. I'd say he's a pretty good rival. But, uh, who knows? Thought that seemed a bit. Eh. Not a lot of people don't really like PewDie. And he's a bit annoying sometimes, so. Yeah, probably best to not use his name. Right, so I'm gonna go out here. Oh no, it's Oak. Like we didn't expect this to happen. Gosh, skipping a few frames there. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? My computer can't even run Pokemon. I'm so fed up with waiting. My fault, I think. Oh, that's right, I don't just come. There's three Pokemon here. Alright, time to pick up Pokemon. Oh no. Be patient, my fault, you can have one too. And our first Pokemon, Bulbasaur. Oh yeah. Of course we had to choose Bulbasaur, so we're playing Leaf Green. I had pick the uh, king of all Pokemon. Uh, I don't know what to call it, so I think I'm going to just go with... Leaf. It's usually the name of the uh, female player character. But, I don't know, it's my Bulbasaur. Mofo picks Charmander, like the uh, Mofo he is. And as we try to leave, rival battle. This game a bit more annoying than other games. This first battle at least. Cause we've got Oak telling us what to do. Yes, I've had lots of Pokemon battles before, what Oak. This is a lot of hitting the A button. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need potions yet. I'm just gonna tackle him. Yep, he's just scratching me in return, so... I think I'm just gonna try and hit him down. It's usually a pretty standard tactic. Imagine how embarrassing it would be if we lost to our rival. Uh, couldn't live up to that. 
not on my YouTube channel. I think I'd have to cry. Probably just start over the video again, actually. But it looks like we're gonna win, so long as he doesn't get a crit. That was actually quite close. If he'd had a crit, we would have lost. But no, we won level 6 Bulbasaur. It does also help that Bulbasaur is you know, very useful for the first two gyms. Brock is gonna fall like a rock. <laughs> That's funny because he has rock Pokemon. Did you get it? Anyway, let's go and get Oak's parcel so we can get the Pokedex ASAP. Look, look, I copied what it said on one of the trainer tip signs. Hooray. <sighs> yeah, I probably ought to do that now, set to fast. I'll turn that off, because nobody uses the help menus. That should make things faster. Here we are on Route 1. First Pokemon. This isn't going to be any kind of challenge, just an ordinary Let's Play. So I'm not going to bother with Nuzlocke rules. Nuzlocke is where first Pokemon you encounter in any route, you've got to catch it. If you can't, don't catch it, you can't catch another. So it makes it a great deal more restrictive what you can and can't use in your Pokemon team. Also, you know, if your Pokemon faints, and that's it, you can't use them again. You know, they're dead. So, uh, Nuzlocke's, they're challenging to play. Didn't really feel like it this time. Maybe in the future, if this, you know, if you like this, give it a like. Uh, say you want to see me do a Nuzlocke if you want. Uh, maybe I'll think about it in the next Let's Play we do. So I'm just going to tackle this Pidgey down, shouldn't be too hard. Now we're taking quite a few hits, so... Hopefully we won't need to use the potion before we get to the Pokemon Center, but we may not be lucky. Level 7, nice and tasty. I've got Leech Seed actually, so I can always use that for a bit more health. Yeah, can you see that frame skipping? <laughs> it's all over the place. But it's not too bad. Here we are in the Pokemon Center, gonna heal quickly. Man, doesn't it feel s look so lonely? Just that one Pokeball. We need to catch more. So, let's go to the Pokemon Mart. Here we'll get Oak's parcel. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Yay! So we get to go back all the way we just came. I never really understood why they did that. I guess it's kind of sort of tutorially. You know, you learn how to train up your Pokemon against a wild Pokemon before you have the had a complication of catching anything. But to be honest, it's just a bit pointless, you know. You've just gone all that way and now you have to go back again. And then you have to come back the same way a third time because ultimately Viridian City is where you want to be going you need to go further onto Viridian Forest and then to Pure City but no it's a bit silly yeah I don't think I'll be catching a Rattata or a Pidgey so it shouldn't be too inconvenient that we won't have any Pokeballs I never really liked Pidgeys, uh, even Pidgeot. It's not how strong it is that bothers me, I just don't like the design particularly. And Raticate, kind of the same thing. Don't like the design. Uh, Great more attached, yeah. Yes, we have your parcel. Uh, give us Pokedex so we can go and catch a mole or not, because we're not catching Rattatas or Pidgeys. So. <laughs> And Pokedex, which is a cool high-tech encyclopedia. 
Gee, thanks, Professor Oak. Got to catch him to get the data. Oh, actually, I didn't realise we got Pokeballs in this. I know, in the original, in the uh, Game Boy Color games, or just Game Boy games, actually, isn't it? Uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. You didn't get any Pokeballs. You had to buy the first ones you ever got. It's a bit mean. But no, in this game, apparently you get given them. But it doesn't change anything. I'm still not catching Ratchet or Pidgey. I don't want that weak shit. <laughs> uh, having said that, we get jumped by a Ratata. Great fun. Uh, I may be skipping through this bat these kind of battles later. Just because uh, if I don't make this Let's Play a lot longer, get a bit boring. We don't need to fight level 3 Rattatas all the time, whatever. It's just a bit dull. Yeah, and again, getting really bad luck. So, I can actually skip it up like this. It's a lot faster, makes it a lot shorter. Level 8 now. Back we go to Viridian City. Oh. Another battle. Uh, Pidgey. I wonder if I caught one, would it leave me alone? Probably not. The, next, the uh, Pokemon I hope to catch will be in the next route we go to. I'll just leave it as that for the moment. You can see when we get there. Uh, I think I'm going to have to heal before we go anywhere though. Isn't that a bunch of fun? So, once again we get to see our solitary one Pokeball. Pokeball. Mm -hmm. Alright, hope to see you again. What a horrible thing to say in a hospital. We hope to see you again. So we can heal you of your wounds again. So yes, we are now going to uh, Route 22 or Route 22, uh, however you want to pronounce it. So we're going to be spending some time here to try and find Pokémon. I hope is going to make up our team. Oh wow! Didn't even need to speed up that battle. That's good. Stand this class for a little while. So we're going to have to do some training because I know if you actually go along the route up top that you can see, we encounter Gary or Mofo again. So there'll be a nice rival battle going on for free XP. He does have some pretty powerful Pokemon. I think his Charmander actually will no Ember by this point. So it's not something Bulbasaur can easily go up against. Mankey. Uh, not catching this. I'd actually hoped we could have found it by now. Usually it's quite common uh, while I'm looking for. <laughs> Alright, I'll just say it. We're looking for a Nidoran male. I really, really, really like Nidoking. It's one of my favourite Pokémon. I wish you used to use it in the uh, games I played, you know, when I played the original Pokémon Blue, I think I had. Always used to use Nidoran Mail. But today we're just not having any luck in finding one, which is a shame. Oh gosh, all the Rattatas! What is this? It's Rattata infestation. And you will have uh, culling their numbers. Squashing down the Rattata population. We may actually have to go to Pokazander again. If not fine work, which is good. I'll actually rearrange it. Yeah, there. And Oh, that was one hit. 
I hope we don't one hit the Nidoran. That would suck. Oh my goodness. I don't understand it. I've never seen these things so rare. We haven't even seen a Nidoran female. They're usually pretty common as well. I think I usually find the females first, which is annoying. Just ratted as a monkeys. I'm pretty sure I've spent ages before just looking for the monkeys. So I guess the game is taunting us here. Saying, so, oh, look, you don't want monkeys, so we'll give you monkeys. You don't want ratters, so we'll give you ratters. Oh, I hope I don't end up revolving Bulbasaur just here. That would suck. We've run out of PP on Vine Whip. That's that's ridiculous. I've never seen these be so rare. Oh my goodness! What? No, I didn't want to growl. I don't understand it. Well, I'll go heal up again and I'm buy some more Pokeballs. I'm just gonna skip through this. This can't be... Oh no! This can't be very interesting to watch. Not making any real progress, just leveling up. I honestly didn't expect to have so much difficulty in finding these things. For the moment. Oh, no. ah. So back we go to Route 22. More monkeys. More monkeys. What is going on? Give me need around. I'm gonna have to check this later. Maybe Nidor you can't find Nidorans? Leaf Green? I've never heard of this. Also, they can be found on both games. But I don't know, maybe maybe they're exclusive to Far Red? I don't know. Yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about with Leaf Green and Fire Red, uh, maybe you've not played Pokemon all that much. They always have two versions of the same game, essentially, but different Pokémon exclusive to each. So, I guess it's just a way to try and... It's either a way to try and make people trade, or it's a way to try and make people buy the same game twice. By the way, it's, I never liked it. Uh, I usually... I like to get 150 on my own, and obviously... Yeah, I can't do that without trading or buying the same game. It's a bit annoying. That's fine, Gary. I can't believe we've had such difficulty. We might actually have some difficulty in this battle, I've just realised. What with a Pidgey and a Charmander. That's two types we're weak to. But so long as it doesn't use Gust, I think we should be fine. So just gonna use tackle. I'm actually gonna heal up here before we face that Charmander. Because we may lose health quite quickly. Down goes the Pidgey. There's plenty of XP. I would have liked to give that XP to something else to be honest, but what can you do? Sometimes you know, it just doesn't go the way you want it to. Yeah, hopefully this battle should be a walk in the park, level 30 in Bulbasaur. It's no real contest, he's only got level 9, so... so the worry is that he brings out the Ember, and could kill us very quickly. But for some reason he's not doing two things, not doing anything particularly intelligent in this battle. You know, 
scratching. I mean, it's not even using Growl or Leer or whatever he has. The status changes, so we can't hit him. Oh, we just lucked out, did we? It's not like we, uh, you know, we kicked your ass and you just used no more attacks. I think I'm going to spend a little bit longer just searching for a need around, but I don't expect to find it. It's a bit of a shame. And... What the heck? the heck? This is something to do with Leaf Brain. I could swear you could normally find Nidorant here. But it seems like they've changed that. I really don't want to have to come back. And I really don't want to wait all that long to just to get Nidorant. Uh, maybe we'll go and do Brock. Yeah, whatever. Uh, oh no. Oh, I forgot about this old man. I'm just going to skip past this bit. He's just showing us how to catch a wild weedle. Yeah, as though we need to be shown how to do it. Teachy TV. I never liked the Teachy TV. Yeah. I don't need tutorials. I uh, know that sounds kind of, you know, kind of arrogant. Just, I don't need no, uh, nobody telling me what to do. I'm a master at this game. I'm a Pokemon master. I'm not a Pokemon master, but the, the tutorials are just a bit. I know they just don't. They're not helpful. You know, they're so simple. They're aimed at kids, basically. Uh, it's just a bit annoying. That's why I don't need to teach TV. If that's a Pokeball. So... What, what use that is, you know? I don't want to catch a Weed or a Caterpie either. They're awful. Um, sorry, if you like Weed or Caterpie, or, or well, I should say Bead or Beedrill or Butterfree. But, you know, they're just not good Pokemon. They have terrible moves and terrible stats and just terrible all around. Let's go get this back ball. Uh, I actually quite like Beedrill's design and as a Pokemon I kind of like Butterfree. Whoops. But, I don't know, they just, they're so weak compared to everything else that it's just kind of not worth using them. I think that's a real shame. I wish Nintendo would you know, re-change around some of the stats and moves. You know, I've seen a lot of ROM hacks, you know, where pe you know, people have just hacked into Pokemon, changed it around. I've seen some some of those where they've made Beedrill and Butterfree you know, other weak, really weak Pokemon useful. But I'd like it to be. I'd like it to happen in a proper Pokemon game. Something Nintendo release. Doesn't look like we're ever see that though. I don't understand how they you know, decide on these, to be honest. Because they've got so many Pokemon that are just not useful in the, you know, in the late game. They're just so weak compared to everything else. Like, you know, you've got okay legendaries. You know, they're expected to be more powerful than everything else. But why are there Pokémon that are expected to be weaker than everything else? How does that make a balanced game? I don't understand. 